the surging waves of the ocean. Like the heartbeat of God. Eternal, timeless. Hi everyone, I'm Thomas Kincaid. And you know, when I think of the ocean, I think of inspiration. Now, I've painted on many coasts all over the world. And I think I always love to go back to the Pacific, which is where my home is, and also to the North Atlantic and the coasts of England. In my newest painting, Seaside Hideaway, I've tried to incorporate the best of my inspiration from the ocean and from the seaside and to incorporate it into a new series of paintings that I think will celebrate what it's like to hide away by the sea. Now, if you notice, there is, of course, a lot of tourist activity around every beach resort. And the reason is people get refreshed when they're near the ocean. There's something about that rhythm of the waves, that timeless beating of God's heart, as I mentioned earlier. It is almost like a way of getting back in tune with nature. And I just feel refreshed. I feel excited every chance I get to go and be by the ocean. One of the ways that I've gathered research over the years is to take my easel on location. It's called plain air painting or out of door open air painting. And this style of painting involves packing your paints with you into some very remote locations. I've actually taken my easel and set it up along the coast on cliffs overlooking the sweep of the ocean beside a ocean waterfall one time and even on a boat. I was able to paint right there from the bow of the boat. I can really pinpoint how different experiences I've had over the years have come together uh, with Seaside Hideaway. In my painting, I picture a tiny sailboat out on the horizon. Behind it are the headlands, seagulls overhead and the light reflecting on the bottom of the clouds remind us that there is color and luminous light at sunset. And of course, that light is reflected on the ocean itself. These are the kind of effects that artists just dream of. I really enjoyed painting all the color of the flowers in this work. And I tried to capture some of the native plants that you would see perhaps along the coastal regions in southern England. I wanted the landscape to look like it got there on its own and sort of grew wild, almost like the cottage seems to grow right from the ground itself. Inside the cottage, the lights of home glow. The hearth is lit up. Perhaps tea is waiting for you. I really enjoyed painting the wisps of smoke that were catching that same breeze that this sailboat has out on the horizon. The old gas lamp out front is a welcoming beacon reminding you to come on inside and share the warmth. When we dim the lights in the room, you can really see the glow in this painting. And of course, that's due to the luminous painting techniques that I've been working on now for over 25 years. There are eight hidden ends in this painting, and including one that you see in the fence along the walkway, the stone walkway that leads up to the cottage. So see if you can find all eight. If you notice the walkway in the front of the cottage, you'll see that it is almost as though it were carved out of the stone. That is because I wanted to create that sense of solidity. I like to emphasize the thought that this home has been there for generations. Again, it's the thought that a family is something that proceeds down the generations and through the years the home is a constant part of that family. Of course, every painting that I do, I think, brings those same core values of home and family and faith in God, uh, the beauty of nature, a simpler way of living. It, brings those values to the collector, or at least that's my goal, is to try to share some of those real foundational values. This painting, Seaside Hideaway, is all about taking time to escape and 
be refreshed in nature as we just meditate on the blessings that we have. I think now more than ever we all need to be reminded that there's a lot of beauty in this world if you just take time to see it. God bless.